Tonight, an exclusive follow-up on 20 men suing Valley Strip Clubs, claiming that they were drugged and robbed while in VIP private rooms. Tonight, we're hearing from a former exotic dancer who worked at one of the three strip clubs named in a civil lawsuit. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum first broke the story. He joins us live with the details. Justin. John, the woman we spoke to says she worked at Skin Cabaret in Scottsdale for several years. She's speaking out now, telling Fox 10 she's not shocked at the allegations of patrons passing out while their credit cards were charged excessively. She says she witnessed it happen. Everybody starts sending me the, the Fox News story. After seeing our report on a lawsuit against three strip clubs, this woman is coming forward, a former dancer who wants to remain anonymous. We'll call her Bianca. She worked at Skin Cabaret in Scottsdale, just down the street from Bones Cabaret in Dream Palace. All three gentlemen's clubs now accused of concerning allegations. Nearly 20 men claiming they were drugged. Bianca says she witnessed it happen. It was people that was being like, they're coming in for a drink and they, they just go to the bathroom and walk out completely disoriented and holding on to the walls and um, falling, falling asleep when they pay for the hour of dance. When we asked how exactly this unfolded, Bianca says a hostess or manager placed a substance in glasses of champagne. I saw them putting things on the, on the champagne and the drinks or in the soda or could it be in any drink really, you won't taste it. It's unknown what exactly was allegedly put in the drinks, but Bianca says she remembers being warned by staff. They would tell us, they say, don't drink the drink from this glass because I'm going to put your glass over here because that glass has Rufi in it. In the complaint filed against the three clubs, plaintiffs say they agreed to the first transaction for access to the VIP room and a private dance, but don't remember signing for anything else after that. The total amount of charges for the plaintiffs is over a million dollars. One man we spoke to is still recovering from being charged $180,000. And the plaintiffs we talked to also say they were isolated from friends once they entered the VIP room, blacking out for the rest of the night. To steal from people that kind of money that destroyed their lives, I was like absolutely not okay with that. Is this normal or is this a specific scheme? It's not normal. I worked in other clubs and it's not normal at all. The owner of Skin Cabaret and Bones Cabaret is Todd Borowski. Bianca says she brought up her concerns about what she witnessed to Borowski. What did Todd say to you when you told him that you had concerns? Sometimes he would have text back, sometimes he wouldn't. He would say, I'll check into it. Borowski is familiar with Scottsdale police. In 2020, court documents say Borowski attacked his girlfriend and threatened to shoot her with a rifle in a domestic violence incident. He was charged with aggravated assault, kidnapping, and disorderly conduct before taking a plea agreement and sentenced to more than a year probation. We reached out to Browski's lawyer, Dennis Willencheck, for comment on what Bianca described. He wanted to know who our source is, and we are not disclosing her identity. But Willencheck says he and his client don't believe any of the allegations and told Fox 10 to take a look at new competitors in town who could be stirring up the situation. Bianca says one of her former clients is a victim of the alleged scheme and stopped coming to Skin Cabaret. One of them was somebody I knew, and I was like, he comes to the club all the time, and he doesn't want to come anymore. That's my money that I'm not making and money that your business is not making because, you know, he's being treated this way every time he comes. He's blacked out. He doesn't remember anything. Eventually, Bianca stopped working there. The time I did what I did, I was in that industry for a reason, but not to cause this, you know, this much burden on people's lives. And we have reached out again to Scottsdale PD for updates on the case, but officials remain tight-lipped on the active investigation. Meanwhile, plaintiffs are suing for punitive damages, but a trial date still not set. Live in the studio, I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates.